What's up guys, I'm Desifinox Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a simple egg spill like how you see the eggs in videos being able to deal high damage but this one is a simple one. So we fight in the conundrum rocks fighting over level behemoths right here. I did a little bit warm up before this one so I'm at level 4 determination and now at full meter as well. So we're going to focus on this one, I'm going to showcase the damage on this build right here with the pulse at max stacks and full determination. Alright, you through that one, get the pulse to max stacks. Evade through that one and get ready for the throw. Never mind, it's continuing to be the next attack. Evade through that one again and kaboom. 27k. So this build comes with other cunning. So as you can see, it still deals 27k. I'm going to explain more. This build also comes with a very high life steal. Okay, let's get hit. It's okay. Dash in and let's heal back to full HP. So the 27k, you see this now is without the cunning. And I'm going to show you how the damage is without the criticals. After this one, okay, let's stack out the pulse again and the mirror again, of course. Okay, let's get close. Mirror at full stacks, come on. Like storm, there we go. Full stacks. Alright, so here's the damage without the critical 10k. As you can see, it really is that much different. And I'm going to explain more about how this critical works on the build section. So if you want to listen to the lecture about the criticals and the damage, you can skip right away to the end of this video on the build section. But if you don't want to skip, that's fine. Maybe you can learn a bit more about the battles that I do right here in the battles. Okay. It's gonna die. I spawn. There we go. Stack out the pulse so that we can get the upper hand on the next battle. There we go. So it's full determination and pulse. We're not going to fight the flameborn Ganesha because it's still a Ganesha. We fight. We already fight a Ganesha just now. I think we're going to fight the Falomir. But maybe let's take a look at what behemoth comes out next. Maybe it will be a better behemoth. But still, maybe we're going to fight the Falomir next. Alright, let's fight the Charot first. The Charot will be an easy target. It might have it might have tough height. But the tail does not have tough height, so it will be very easy. A very crispy target. Maybe we can start the battle by staggering the behemoth. I wouldn't want to waste my determination on the head because it, it is pretty tough. I would want to use it on the tail. Let's hit it. Kaboom 3k. Okay. I did not con continue the combo because I was at full determination anyways. Okay. I want to show the axe. I was so tempted but it was without blade storm sharpened. So it will be pretty much a waste. Okay. Full stacks. I'm going to evade through an attack and make sure to hit the tail but this part is going to take pretty long. So I'm going to fast forward this part right to the part where I start attacking again so okay let's fast forward this part okay so here we are you get through the arms and boom 31k easy as you can see this build is just very good all right let's keep hitting it is it gonna get in rage again never mind it's getting into this uh, attacking phase. Maybe after this one, it will get in rage. Never mind. Heart breaks. Mm. Right, in rage. There we go. Ouch! I did get hit, but that's fine. Evade. Never mind. Evade. Never mind. All right, we still have the life steal, but I guess we're out of life steal. Evade and hit the arms. Boom. Twenty k. Easy. As I have said earlier, the tail takes more damage. So if you want to deal even more damage with the eggs try to hit the tail. The tail will take even more part damage compared to the other parts. Okay, it's gonna die soon. It's gonna die soon. I can feel it. Okay, once more. Dead. Never mind. Dash in. Dead. Yep, it is. Stack the pulse so that we get the upper hand. Oh, maybe not. The determination comes first. Okay, let's start with the pulse. Okay, there we go. So the priority level for the thing that you need to complete is definitely the determination meter so make sure your determination meter is on the max stacks first before your pulse i mean at full meter before your pulse and if your determination is already at full meter you can start stacking up the pulse okay as i have promised we're going to fight in Falomir. and it's going to start with summoning something and if we stay on the head it's going to make a beam on the head so this will be our chance to deal Sharpened as Blade Storm Critical Extra. Kaboom! 27k, easy. As you can see, this build is just nuts. It's still over leveled, so. Oh, we're going to evade through that one. It's pretty dangerous. Okay, evade through that one. 
cat hit with a charge attack, 5k. Easy. Let's try to break parts. Alright, here we go. The pulse is in. You wait through that one. And kaboom, 14k. Easy. Alright, that's the fourth HP, which means it's going to teleport. We're going to try to break parts so that it does not get into this enriched motion. It's the back leg, so we try to hit the back leg. Come on, break. There we go. Alright, let's continue to the tail because that's the closest part that we can break. Pulse, admit stats, come on. There we go. Never mind. Alright, let's go to the tail. I don't think charge attack will do it nicely, so X throw, 9k, easy. Pick up the X. The closest part will be the back leg again. Never mind. I will. I, did not, I don't think I'm going to be able to break the back leg. And the position is not really that good, so it's going to get into this enriched motion now. Let's get ready to evade through it, okay? Try to break, never mind. Let's just dash, and yep, easy. Let's try to break parts again, but maybe not. The breaking part is only to cancel the enriched motion, so maybe we'll just keep hitting the head to get the stagger in. Easy, easy. Evade through that one. Well, that's pretty useless though, because we're hitting the head which is already broken. Okay, it's gonna die soon. It's gonna die. Heart break. Never mind. How does that does not count as a part? The heat zone is really broken. Alright, it's gonna die. Easy. Level 13, fellow mirror, dead very easily. Okay, so this is the build section right here. As you can see, this build is actually very good, and you're going to hear more about how this build works and how the calculation and the criticals work in the build section. So let's check out the build real quick. Alright, so here's the build guys. As usual, no legendaries, no Lady Luck stuff, and no catalysts. And even if I did bring catalysts right here, it would be pretty much useless because I deliberately did not bring any tonic. Yep. And the highest equipment that you need to craft here is the Thunder Dross, which is available at level 14, and the Coach Scythe, which is available at level 13. The rest are just Ganesha and Boreas, which is very easy to craft, so you won't be having much of a hard time farming for this equipment right here. And the key player to this build is the Bladestorm, Pulse, Sharpened, the unit effect of the weapon, the Grim Onslaught, and the weapon itself, which is the determination level, and the special meter. So how you use this build is actually pretty simple. You need to make sure that the pulse is under max stacks. There will be numbers next to the icon right there. And when the pulse is on max stacks, the icon will change into something else like this one. And then you need to make sure that your determination is at level 4. And you have a full meter. Because at full meter, you're going to deal bonus damage on the next throw. And make sure you evade throw an attack so that the blade storm and the sharpen activates. And make sure you hit an unbroken part. Because if you hit a broken part, then the blade storm and shotgun would not be very much that useful. And if you take a look at the blade storm right here, I'm going to explain a bit about the damage. The calculation from the Dauntless will be the power calculated by the sharpened and then added by the blade storm. So you might think like the blade storm is not really that good, but if you try the calculation, like say it's 310, you dodge through an attack, the shop and activates giving you 100% bonus part damage, you're going to gain another 310 damage to that one throw on unbroken parts. While the blade storm will add 400 part damage, they will give you 100 more power. So the blade storm actually works very well with the eggs. You're going to deal a lot more damage with Blade Storm and Sharpen combined if you don't throw an attack and hitting an unbroken parts. Of course, as you can see right here, I did not bring any cutting with me because the criticals will deal 1.5 times more damage without any addition like the cutting and else. So the pulse will give 15% critical strike damage. You will deal 1.65 times damage when you critically strike. So pulse is actually pretty much enough. For this build right here, you don't need cunning, tenacious, tough, and nice one as usual. The combo for your survivability and damage. And there's molten right here to increase your attack speed because the axe hits very slow. So the molten right here will give you the attack speed that you need and as well as immunity to burning. And that sums up the perk summary. Let's go through the build. The Thunder Deep Draws with Pulse. The Gnasher with Tough. Boreas with Blade Storm and another Boreas with Pulse. Here I'm using Coach Ice Balloon so that I can get Life Steal, although you have Life Steal from the Iceborne, but Astral Life Steal never hurts. You can always switch the Lantern into something else. I would recommend using the Scar or maybe the Pungar, but fit in the Molten Cell. Okay, so here's the Omni Cell. You might not want to use the Discipline because this is a beginner's build. The Discipline is available in the Lady Luck, so I will not be using that one. Tempest might not be really that helpful with damage, but Attack Speed is really good, but I would prefer using the Iceborne. And here is the weapon. 
with Blitzstorm and Molten, the special Grimmon slot, and the mod Overcharge Cylinder. This Overcharge Cylinder, you can get it from the Slayer's Pass on the end of the H3, but if you haven't yet unlocked the Overcharge Cylinder, you can always switch it to Lightweight Half. I used the Lightweight Half when I first started out with an Axe, it really helps a lot with getting the timing right and stuff. And if you, are a if you are a beginner, Lightweight Half might be a very good choice. But if you have unlocked the Overcharge Cylinder, then you it might be wise to just switch it to Overcharge Cylinder for more damage. So that's the build, guys. Okay, so a little bit tips on how you use this build. So make sure your pulse is at max stats, your determination is at level 4, and it's on full special meter. You dodge through an attack, and you hit an unbroken part. You do all that, you're going to deal very high damage to the behemoths. Try this out in the escalation, and you're going to see how much it deals. That's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. It's free, and you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.